actually ventured into the garden today. Have you been walking all morning? No, actually, I, I've just... Oh, you've been swimming, I suppose. Yes, I had a little dip. Oh. I saw your mother down there. She, she was just going into her bathing hut. Who do you say? Your mother. Yes, I see what you mean. Did I you see mean... anything of father's boat out in the fjord? Yes, I thought I saw a boat sailing this way. Ah, uh, that would be father. He's been visiting some patients on the islands. How splendid you're making it look with, with all these flowers. Yes, it looks rather pretty. What do you think? Wonderful. Almost as if you were celebrating some sort of red letter day. We are. I guessed as much. Y your father's birthday, I presume? No, mother's. Oh, really? Your mother's? Leave me alone. Well, I, I suppose you'd be wanting to go back to your hotel for lunch now. Oh, yeah, yes, I suppose I ought to get a bite of something. I suppose the food up there seems wonderful to you. I'm not up at the hotel any longer. I found it too expensive for me. Where are you staying now, then? Uh, Mrs. Jensen's. Well, I, I'd better say au revoir to you and to Miss Spullett. Goodbye, Mr. Lingston. Goodbye. Oh, do please excuse us today, but some other time when you've got nothing to do, you must come and see round the house and see Father and the rest of us. Yes, thank you very much. I'd love to. Au revoir, monsieur. Give my love to Mother Jensen. Shh, Hilda. You could easily have heard you. <laughs> Hello, young ladies. Here I am again. Father? Oh, no, no. I shall have to go down to the surgery for an hour or two. Oh, well, Tommy, has Arnholm arrived yet? Oh, yes. He arrived in town last night. We heard from the hotel. Uh, but you haven't seen him? No, but I expect he'll come here this morning. Uh. Father, look. Yes, child, I see. How very gay. Don't you think we've made it look pretty? I should say you have. <laughs> uh, tell me, is your, um, are there just the, the three oh, of us yes, at home? Oh, yes, she's gone Mother down to... Mother has gone down to bathe. Yes. Yeah. I see. Now, uh, but uh, tell me, young ladies, are we going to leave the house looking like this for the rest of the day, with a flag flying and everything? Of course, Father. I see, but... Um... Of course, you know we've really done all this for Dr. Arnholm. When such an old friend pays his first respects... He used to be and... Bullet's tutor, Father. <laughs> what a couple of rogues you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it's inevitable that we should pay our respects now and again to her who is no longer with us. All the same. Oh, Hilda, be a dear and take my bag down to the surgery, will you? Oh, well, look. Isn't that Dr. Arnholm? That? He's much too old for Arnholm. Oh, my soul, I think it is he. Yes, it is. Yes. Good heavens, I think you're right. Welcome, my dear fellow. Welcome home. Thank you, Dr. Van Gogh. Thank you. You are too kind. And here are the children. <laughs> I should hardly have recognized them. I don't suppose you would. Except Bolette, perhaps. Yes, I think I should have known Bolette. Really? It must be eight or nine years since you saw her last. Yes, a lot of things have changed here in that time. I was just thinking the opposite. Except that the, uh, the trees are a little taller. And uh, that arbor. Oh, well, yes. Externally. And now you have two eligible grown-up daughters. Well, one. <laughs> oh, Father. <laughs> Come, let's go and sit on the veranda. It's cooler there. Thank you, my dear Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let us sit down and take things easy. Oh, children, would you bring some seltzer and some lemonade, please? And some uh, brandy, too, perhaps. You want some brandy, too? Well, just a drop in case anyone... Yes, of course. Hilda, would you take Father's bag to the surgery, please? Thank you. in the surgery. Shall we all go in the garden room? Yes, let's. Well, here I am, finished for the day. How about a nice glass of something cool? Mm. Eh? Look, what lovely flowers. Where did you get them? I got them from young Mr. Lingstrand, the sculptor. Has he been here again? Yes, he came by just now with these. For the birthday, you know. Huh? Cat. You need a muddy eye. Come, children. Let's put my flowers in water with the others, shall we? Awfully nice, Ruth. She's only doing it to please Father. Thank you, Alida. Thank you so much, my dear. 
You wouldn't want me to be the only one not celebrating Mother's birthday, would you? Oh, you know how ill he is. Do you think it's serious? Yes, I do. He came to consult Father today. I'd like to know what he thinks about it. Father told me that he's got congestion of the lungs or something of the kind. He won't live to be old, Father said. Did he say that? <gasps> Just as I thought. For heaven's sake, don't let him suspect that you know anything. <coughs> Please forgive me, young ladies, for, for lagging so far behind you. Are they still down there, Father and the rest? Yes, your father went into, into the refreshment hut and the others are all sitting outside listening to the music. But they're coming up here very soon, your, your mother said. <laughs> you must be very tired. <clears throat> yes, perhaps I am a little tired. I think I'll sit down for a bit. Did you know there was going to be dancing down there by the bandstand later? Yes, so I heard. Well, do you think it's fun, dancing? Hilda, give Mr Lingstrom a chance to get his breath back. Oh, yes, Miss Hilda, I should so love to dance. If only I could. <laughs> you mean you never learn? No, I, I have never learned, but, but that's not what I meant. I meant I mustn't, because of my chest. D does that make you very unhappy, having this chest trouble? Oh, no, I, I can't say that. I think it's because of that that everybody's so good and, and kind and, and helpful to me. Yes, and it's not really serious, is it? Serious? Good heavens, no, not in the least. Your father made that quite clear to me. <laughs> oh, they're coming now. I hope they know where to turn off. <laughs> They've gone wrong. <laughs> I'll run down and shout to them. Well, you'll have to shout very loud. Oh, no, don't. It'll make you tired again. Nonsense. It's all downhill. <laughs> downhill, yes. <laughs> now he's jumping. It doesn't occur to him he's got to climb uphill all the way back. Poor boy. If he's trying to ask you to marry him, would you accept him? Have you gone mad? Well, if he didn't have his chest trouble, if he wasn't going to die so soon, would you have him then? I think it'd suit you better than me. Me? <laughs> he hasn't got a bean. Not even enough to keep himself alive. Well, why do you always make so much fuss of him, then? Oh, well, only because of that chest of his. I haven't noticed that you feel sorry for him. No, I don't really. I think it's fascinating. What? Well, to hear him saying it's not serious and he's going south to become an artist. He believes every word he says. It makes him so happy. He'll never come to anything because he won't live long enough. I think that's so exciting. Hilda, you're a cruel little beast. I say, Arnold's not enjoying all this climbing. Do you know what I noticed at dinner? No. What? His hair's beginning to fall out, just in the middle. That's nonsense. It isn't true. Yes, it is. And he's beginning to get wrinkles round both his eyes. Oh, Bolette, how on earth could you have fallen in love with him when he was tutoring you? Yes, it's strange, isn't it? I remember once bursting into tears because he said he thought Bolette was an ugly name. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Come and look. The lady from the sea is walking with him. Oh, father's on his own. I wonder if those two are stuck on each other. Oh, you really ought to be ashamed of yourself. How can you stand there talking like that about her? Just when we're getting on so well together. Oh, yes? Well, she'll never get on with us. She's not our sort. We're not hers. God knows why father ever dragged into this house. Shouldn't be surprised she went of her head on her face. Oh, how can you say such things? Her mother went mad. She died in an asylum. I know. Well, don't go around talking about it. Be nice to her, for father's sake. There's the sea. Yes, that's right. It must be in that direction. Yes. There it is. Out there. Don't you think it's lovely up here? Magnificent. In my time, I don't think you could get up here. There wasn't even a footpath. There's an even better view from Lutzkill and just over there. Shall we go there, Elida? No, I won't, thanks. You go. I'll stay here till you come back. I think I'll, I'll do the same. The girls can show Dr. Arnold the way. Would you like to come with us, Dr. Arnold? Oh, thank you. I'd love to. Is there a path up there, too? Oh, yes, a good broad one. Broad enough for two people to walk arm in arm. Shall we two see if she's speaking the truth? Yes, let's. Shall we go, too? Arm in arm? <laughs> Why not? I've no objection. It's rather a laugh, isn't it? What? It just looks as though we were two were engaged. <laughs>
Are there any fish there? Shh. Yes, one or two old carp. Those old carp? Are they still alive? <laughs> yes, they're tough. We're going to catch one of them. Oh, well, you would have a better chance out in the fjord. Ah, the pond's more, more mysterious. Yes, it's more exciting here. Have you been in the sea? Yes, I've uh, just come up from the bathhouse. I expect you stay close to the shore. Yes, I'm uh, not a very good swimmer. Can you swim on your back? No. <laughs> I can. Come along, let's drive on the other bank. Mrs. Bang, I've got some news for you. What? Just imagine, we've seen the American. The American? I saw him too. Yes, he came up past the garden and went on board that big steamer. How do you know that man? I, I went to sea with him once. I was sure he'd been drowned, but here he is, alive and kicking. I'm sure he must have come to revenge himself on that faithless girl of his. What did you say? Well, Lingstrang wants to make a masterpiece out of Come and him. look! The English steamer starting up the fjord. He'll visit her tonight. Faithless wife, yes. At midnight, I say. Oh, how exciting. Tomorrow, then. For the last time. Oh, bang. I feel it, Anita. There is something behind that man. The tide is behind him. The tide? That man... That man is like the sea. We've been making great plans. We want to go out in the field tonight. Oh, no, bed. don't tell them. <laughs> we, too, have also been making plans. Indeed? Yes, sir. Leader is going out to Shell Beacon for a while. Going? What a good idea, Mrs. Vandal. Leader wants to go home to the sea again. Are you going away? Are you leaving us? But, Hilda, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Go, go, by all means. Father... I see it in your face. Hello. Aren't you going to wait for us? Bellette and I are going on ahead. It's lovely here at the moment, isn't it? Everybody going around in couples, hand in hand. Do you know, I think he's courting her. Really? Miss Bellette will never accept him, I'm sure of that. No. I think he's begun to look so old. <laughs> she says he'll be bored soon, too. I, I didn't mean just that. She wouldn't have him anyway. Why do you say that? There's someone else she's promised to think about and, and wait for. You mean you? Yes. <laughs> she promised me. But you mustn't tell her that you know. Oh, cross my heart. I should be as silent as the grave. I think it was good of her to say that. When you come back home, will you get engaged to her? Marry her? Oh, no. I don't think of that for the first few years. And when I'm in a position to, if I'm in a position to, she'll be too old for me then. But you wanted to sit here and think of you? Yes, I think so. To know that somewhere in the world there's a... There's a lovely, silent young woman sitting quietly and dreaming of me. I think that must be so... I don't know how to describe it. Exciting? Exciting, yes, yes, just that. Exciting. More or less. You're so wise, Miss Hilda. Amazingly wise. When I come home again, you'll, you'll be about the same age as your sister is now. Perhaps you'll even have come to, to look like her. Perhaps you'll have the same mind that she has now. You and she will have become one person, so to speak. <laughs> Would you like that to happen? I don't know. Yes, I think so. But now, this summer, I want you to stay just as you are. Not like anybody else, just yourself. You like me best as I am? Yes, I like you very much as you are. Tell me, as an artist, do you think I'm right always to wear these light summer clothes? Yes, I think they suit you very well. Yes, but speaking as an artist, how do you think I would look in black? In black, Miss Hill? Yes, all in black. I think I would look good in that. Black is no colour to wear for the, for the summertime. Though, yes, I, I think black would suit your looks perfectly. Black. Up to the neck. And black crepe all around. Long black gloves. And a long black veil. Hanging down behind. If you dress like that, Miss Hilda, I should wish myself a painter so that I might paint you uh, as a beautiful young widow in mourning. Or a young bride in mourning. Yes, that would be even better. <sighs> but, but surely you, you couldn't want to dress like that. I don't know, really. But I think it's exciting. Exciting? Yes. Exciting to think of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Oh, the big English steamer. She's right alongside. <gasps> No, Elida, my dear, you're wrong, I promise you. 
Now, that's right, isn't it, Mr. Lingstrom? She's not in sight yet, is she? The, the English ship? Yes. There she is, Doctor. Come like a thief in the night, as one might say. Softly and soundlessly. Well, you'd better take Hilda down to the jetty. Hurry. Uh, she'll want to hear the music. Hand in hand. What did I say? <laughs> oh, look at her and father. It looks as if they've just got engaged. It is summertime, <laughs> little lady. The Englander is sailing now. Oh, this is the best place to watch from. Last trip of the year. Every way to the sea will soon be locked, as the poet says. A sad thought, Mrs. Vangle. And soon we shall lose you too for a while. You'll be off to Sherlvegan tomorrow, they tell me. No, this evening we too have changed our plans. You have? Father, is this true? Then you'll be staying with us after all. Yes, Hilda dear, if you want me to. Oh, if. Yeah. Oh. Well, this is certainly a surprise. Why, Dr. Arnholm? Don't you remember what we two were saying yesterday? Once one's become a landsman, one can never find one's way back to the sea. Why, that's just like my mermaid. Yes, more or less. But with one big difference. The mermaid died. But men and women, they can acclaim, acclimatize themselves. Yes, I assure you, Mrs. Vangle, they can acclimatize themselves. Yes. <laughs>